ladies and gentlemen, joining me right now is Mr. Monday Night, the whole effing show. This is probably the last time we're going to see him, the one and only Rob Van Dam. Rob, it's incredible to have you. You're going back to WWE, but let's go a little bit further to that. How was it like being trained by the Sheik? Obviously, the guy was a good trainer. We got Sabu, Rob Van Dam, that have both prospectively made legendary status. He trained us way different than uh, anybody, any other training that I've ever heard of. There's certain schools that teach you like safety and stuff like that. The Sheik taught us protect the business first. There's a, uh, there's a missing link now between r the wrestlers that are out there and the old school wrestling. Not, not a lot of us got, can say we got trained by old school anymore. There's a few generations in between and it shows maybe that's the way business is going. Maybe it's a good thing, I don't know. But I, the way I got trained with the Sheik was so rough that nobody else would last in his school. There was like two or three of us and other people would come in, work out once, we'd either, we'd either never see him again or else they'd come back in six months for one more workout and they'd go. Uh, it was very rough. It probably reflected my style in the future. Some people have caught a few potatoes from me, I don't mind saying, but that's the way I was trained, man. And uh, I'm very thankful and proud to have had the original Sheik as my mentor. You were one of the pioneers of ECW, Extreme Championship Wrestling. Your, your style, everything there, do you miss ECW and all the guys? All of us do. Anybody who is involved with ECW, there's a part of us that refuses to let that go, and obviously there's a part of the fans that won't let it go too, and they still and always will probably be chanting ECW for those of us that impacted their lives so much by showing a completely different view of what wrestling could be. I loved it. That's where I made my bones, uh, putting everything together in front of the highest standard, most opinionated crowd in the world. And I'm thankful for that because because of them, I became the perfectionist that I needed to be to be at the top of my game. Absolutely. It, and I'm not planning on bringing it back, by the way. You were a former ECW champion, former WWE champion. All of us are so glad that you're coming back to WWE. We felt that you weren't used properly in TNA. We're so glad you're coming back. What can you tell us about coming back to WWE Money in the Bank next month? There's a lot of excitement. When they ran the RVD footage on the pay-per-view recently, my phone blew up into a million pieces. I had to find it and put it back together and glue it just to listen to my messages. and. Everybody, no matter where they were, is telling me I was there in Chicago, I was at a bar in New York, I was in Florida. Uh, when everyone tells me that no matter where they were, everybody was chanting RVD after watching that. Dude, I'm a little touched. I feel the excitement, the expectations, the positive energy. I'm going to deliver. Ladies and gentlemen, we can't wait to see him back. He is coming back. The whole effing show, Mr. Monday Night, the one and only Rob Van Dam.